and we'll start to watch for more snow developing. So starting the radar at 1250 last night, a lot of us were dry, but a few patches of lake effect snow managed to sweep through areas from the Tri City South overnight and into this morning, starting to fall apart, but that's because our next storm system is moving in. It'll shut off the lake effect temporarily but we will see some snow today and I think everybody is going to see snow. It's been confined to those lake prone areas over the last couple of days, but now today all of us will be getting in on the snow action. 18 in Cass City, 18 in Freeland and Grand Blanc, 18 in Oscoda, 16 in Gladwin, 17 in Midland. Lapeer sitting at 19 right now. We average low 30s this time of year, so still sitting quite a bit below our average and with 10, 15, 20 mile per hour winds, we're seeing single digit wind chills this morning. I guess a little bit better than yesterday, being that some of us were as low as minus three for that wind chill, but still a couple of degrees above zero. Not much better. Now, as we look ahead to what you can expect for the rest of the day today, we will see temperatures slowly climbing into the 20s by the noon hour. By that point, all of us will be seeing some light snow scattered about throughout the area. 26 or later this afternoon into this evening, so it will get warmer than yesterday. By the way, Flint broke the record for the coldest high temperature on record for November 18th, sitting at 24, broke the old record of 25. That is how cold and unusual this air mass is. So how much snow are we looking at? Not a lot. One to three inches of snowfall in areas of blue, which is for most of the viewing area. Along 127, a little bit of boost off of Lake Michigan could help give us about two to three inches of snow, maybe an isolated four inch total. This is through Thursday, and as we go into tomorrow, we're watching the I-69 corridor, possibly seeing another inch or two of snow with some more lake effects. So let's time it out for you with Futurecast and show you how this is all going to evolve. Starting at 8 o'clock this morning, we'll see the snow beginning to expand in coverage, and by noon, 1, 2 o'clock, everybody getting the light snow. Then as we go into the late afternoon and evening, the system's already moving through, so that's why we're not projecting a lot of snow, because it's going to be a quick moving and small system. But as we go to the overnight, watch what happens by 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. We get the lake effect banding setting up along the I-69 corridor again, and that means we could pick up another dusting to an inch of snow tomorrow as temperatures are even cooler tomorrow. I think back towards the 24 degree mark.